I had a, a joint press conference here in South Carolina with South Carolina's governor. Uh, and we were talking about uh, telehealth. And I use the story of my wife's 30 year battle uh, with diabetes and of her father, who when he passed away, uh, was a double amputee because of the late detection of diabetes. And I have been diagnosed myself as what the doctors call pre-diabetic. I happen to have looked at my wife's uh, bill, monthly healthcare bill. Now, uh, the insulin uh, at sometimes would be $800 a month, sometimes 1200 Too many people cannot afford their insulin. And if there's anything you cannot take shortcuts on, uh, it's the medicine that people need you know, to maintain a good quality of life. And so this $35 per month cap was a godsend. And it's great uh, that the Senate agreed with the House as it relates to people on Medicare. But what about children who are born every day with juvenile diabetes? I've had them here in my office in this conference room. And I know what families are going through with little children uh, and not being able to afford the insulin. We can continue to count on me to be supportive uh, because I know uh, the experience I had with my uh, wife to whom I was married for 58 years, uh, her father, uh, these experiences should not be put on the backs of people who cannot afford the cost.